During my initial meeting in Hong Kong last month with the Universal Woman CEO Carolina Quart Cortes and her associates together with Alexander Gonzalez, <clears throat> they're from Venezuela, Venezuela and Antonio Salazar from Spain and Ms. and Carolina Cuartas is from uh, United Kingdom. I realize that we are all shared the same vision. That's why I wasted no time in establishing a partnership with a group. Driven by their motto of redefining beauty through diversity and inner strength, the Universal Woman pageant promises to be another timely and relevant platform for aspiring Filipina queens. With their presence in this in the country today, I hope I can I can help bring them closer to the hearts of avid Filipino pageant fans, who will perhaps want to get to know more about them and their meaningful advocacies. And today, we move a step forward with our strengthened alliance. It's unfortunate that Carolina's busy schedule didn't permit you know, to fly to Manila with Alexander and Valentina. But nonetheless, I feel very proud and honored to have been accorded the trust and confidence as their group's official franchise in the Philippines. Another big reason why we're here today is that I'm very proud to present to our appointed candidate, candidate of Universal Woman Philippines 2024, Ms. Maria Gigante, Gigante of Cebu. I'm sure that most of you know Maria based on her impressive performance during our Miss World Philippines 2022, where she emerged as one of the top 11 finalists. I believe that her morena looks alone will make her a dear standout in the competition. But even more than that, her wit, charm, and eloquence will surely endear her to many pageant fans worldwide. Where else can you find a perfect epitome of a beauty and brains? Where else can you find a philosophy major who also doubles in modeling, hosting, and is also a very visible brand endorser. Maria is the total package, and, appeal, and her appeal is simply universal. Wow. Having said that, it's an honor to have you all here today to witness her sashing and crowning as her official Universal Woman Philippines 2024 candidate. In the meantime, I'd like to ask our media friends once again for your support when Maria flies to Cambodia next month. With your help, our dream and bringing home another prestigious crown can surely be a reality. Thank you very much and good evening to all of you. Thank you so much, Sir ALD. And may you always keep your mission of requiring more prestigious and relevant platforms where Filipina queens can truly flaunt their world-class beauty, talents, and of course, meaningful advocacies. And I wish, and I, we hope, we all hope that we get the first Universal Woman crown very soon. Thank you so much. Of course, moving on, I'd like to ask all of you to give a very warm Filipino welcome, of course, to the Universal Woman Organization's Chief Visionary and Image Consultant from Venezuela. Let's hear it for the very charming and affable Mr. Alexander Gonzalez. Thank you so much. I feel like uh, in my home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Valentina. Okay, I will translate for Alexander. 
<risa> me siento en casa porque desde el principio que hemos entrado acá eh, eso es lo que he visto he visto familia I feel like home because since the moment we arrived this morning that's what I've seen I've seen family cada palabra cada palabra que se ha dicho de verdad que me ha llegado porque trato de ser una persona eh, muy profesional pero a la vez muy sensible every word that has been said today has really touched my heart because I truly try to be a professional person but also be in touch with my feelings y de eso se trata Universal Woman and that's what Universal Woman is all about Universal Woman no es solamente un concurso de belleza this is not just a beauty pageant es una gran familia this is a big family donde ustedes también hacen parte where all of you are also considered to be part of the family yo tengo muchísimos muchísimos amigos Filipinos en el mundo entero. I have so many Filipino friends all over the world. No los llamo amigos, los llamo hermanos. I don't call them friends, I call them brothers and sisters. Una de ellas es Olivia Quido, que es mi hermana. One of them is Olivia Quido, who's like my sister. Una, una mujer muy trabajadora. A very hardworking woman. Que representa a muchas mujeres y muchos y muchos hombres filipinos que trabajan fuerte. Diferentes. Truly represents millions of women and men from the Philippines who work really hard at what they do all over the world. En diferentes áreas, exacto. In different industries. Ahora bien, de verdad que estoy más que emocionado porque Arnold tenía razón. I am so so excited because Arnold was right. He visto a María. I've seen María. Hemos compartido arriba un rato. We just shared a few minutes and conversations upstairs. Donde ella estaba muy interesada preguntándole a Valentina. <laughs> Where she was very interested in asking me questions, almost like an interview. <laughs> muy inteligente. Very smart. Aprovechando de capturar todas las ideas. Yeah, taking advantage of the time that she had with us. Y de eso se trata, buscar las oportunidades. Las oportunidades las tenemos siempre cerca. Hay que aprovecharlas. That's what it's all about, to look for the opportunities. They're really always right there. We just have to take the chance. Universal Woman no es solamente una pasarela para mostrar qué bella tú eres. Universal Woman is not just a runway to show how beautiful you are. María lo es, nada más. María is beautiful, but everybody can see that. <laughs> Pero lo más importante, María, es que seas tú. But the most important thing is for you to be yourself que de verdad lleves a Filipina dentro de tu corazón y dentro de tu mente. To bring your country in your heart and in your mind. Y así no solamente vas a ganar un concurso, te vas a ganar lo que quieras en el mundo. And that way you would not just win a crown, you would win anything that you set your mind to in the world. Disfruten, disfruten muchísimo de su candidata, disfruten muchísimo de la vida, la vida es hoy y aquí. Enjoy and celebrate your candidate and life as well. Y nada, celebremos, celebremos esta bonita amistad, esta bonita hermandad. Um, yeah, let's celebrate this sisterhood and brotherhood. Esto es Universal Woman. Thank This you. is Universal Woman. Gracias. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Alexander. And of course, for Miss Valentina for translating it for all of us. And of course, this is her moment. She won the inaugural edition of Universal Woman 2023 pageant held last February 2 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, where she invested 22 other delegates from different parts of the globe to win the Coveta title. But she's no stranger to the global pageant scene because she was also crowned third runner-up in the Miss Supranational pageant back in 2023. Let's all welcome from Venezuela as well, the lovely and radiant Ms. Valentina Sanchez Trebelia. Mabuha! I finally can say that. Yeah. I've been wanting to come to the Philippines for the past, I think, 20 years. It has been one of my top destinations. And I was just telling them that to me, this is such a special way to close my year as the first Universal Woman. This is my last official trip, uh, being the reigning beauty queen. And I think this is the most special place where I could be saying goodbye to my title. Um, this year has been uh, truly incredible. It has exceeded my expectations. 
I thought that I had closed the chapter of beauty pageants last year and then a few weeks later I heard about this new platform, this new era of beauty called Universal Woman and I truly immediately connected with the essence, with what they said they were looking for in an ambassador which is to truly use your voice because like Alexander said this is not just about looking beautiful in an evening gown with the crown and with beautiful makeup this truly goes beyond that it's about what you can do with a title because it's true when you wear a crown and you wear a sash people listen to you people are interested in knowing what you're thinking in knowing what social causes are dear to your heart and so this year was all about that, taking advantage of those opportunities to bring awareness to certain causes. And today is the beginning of a dream that I had last year. That's now Maria's dream, but also the dream of all of you, of an entire country. So I think the invitation today for all of you is to celebrate the beautiful woman that's going to represent you next month in Cambodia and to help her show the world what makes the Philippines so beautiful and so special. Thank you so much for being here, for welcoming us with open arms. Um, we're only going to be here for two days, but I'm definitely coming back because there's just so much love here and so many beautiful places to see. So thank you again for being here and congratulations. Thank you so much, Valentina. Okay, before she gets back to her, I'd like to ask, have you ever, um, what's your favorite food so far you've tried here in the Philippines? Oh my god, so we got here this morning, so we haven't really had that much time to go walking around, but we went to this very traditional Filipino restaurant. I do not remember the dish, but they got um, this platter of all proteins and fish and tuna, and we also got a dessert. What was the name again? The dessert. Halo, halo. Halo, halo. Yes. So that was very good. And I know there's so many other things that we want to try before we leave. So we're going to try to take advantage of that in the next 48 hours. <laughs> I hope you do enjoy your stay here in the Philippines. Thank you so much for sharing your causes and of just being here. Thank you. All right. Let's give her a round of applause once again, please. All right. And now. We are about to witness the sashing. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay. We will have a photo opportunity later on. Let us proceed with the organic, with the sashing, yes. So now on, we are about to witness the sashing and crowning of our country's first ever uh, candidate for the forthcoming Universal Woman pageant to be held once again in Cambodia next month. So aside from being known as the top 11 finalist for Miss World Philippines 2022, she's also an entrepreneur, fashion student, model, host, and brand and endorser, and a very close friend of mine way back 2016. So I'm also very happy to be here to witness this moment for her. Let us all welcome our recently appointed Universal Woman Philippines 2024, the Dusky Beauty from Cebu, Miss Maria Gigante. <laughs> Leading our crowning and sashing ceremony is Universal Woman Philippines National Director, Mr. Arnold Vegafria, and our very special guest of honor, the reigning Universal Woman 2023 from Venezuela, Miss Valentina Sanchez Trevelia. All right, please ready your cameras as we are about to witness. There you go. Our first ever Universal Woman Philippines. There you have it. Thank congratulations. To Ms. Maria Gigante, our Universal Woman Philippines 2024. All right, let's have a quick photo opportunity. There you go, 
Thank you so much. All right, congratulations. All right, let's center, please. Right, now look here, right? Okay. Now to your left. <laughs> Yes, look center, straight up. All right, thank you so much. At this point, of course, we would like to hear some few words from our reigning Universal yeah. Woman. Please join me here. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Would you like me to start? Transfer. <laughs> Maganda gabi po. Oh my. Good evening, everyone, and mabuhay. This is such an interesting turn of events. Uh, usually, the tables are turned with me and Riri, but I'm so, just so happy. There's only one emotion I felt since Sir Arnold appointed me, and that is gratitude. Everybody who is here today from teacher Cleo. I know everybody calls her national director now, but I've never been able to call, like shake calling her teacher since I was seven. But watching her life has inspired me so much. She is such a strong woman who does not even think about the ceiling before breaking it. There is no limit. There is truly no limit. Everything she achieves just blows my mind entirely. And with that, of course, I would like to begin by thanking my Mega World family. Thank you for hosting this event today. This is very special to me as the face of your Sampagita campaign because representing a company that supports the revival of our local farming industry is something that I stand for. I'm from an island myself and I'm trying my best to support the revival of fishermen. And of course, since we face so many calamities together with their families as well. But more on that later, pageant fans. I would like to thank as well, of course, our guests for coming here today, Ms. Valentina and Sir Alexander. This is such a special moment for the Philippines. Not only to have our first universal woman, but to be graced by yourselves. My goodness, I'm honored. And of course, being able to question you guys earlier and talk to you and pick your brains has really given me so much insight on what the competition is about. And it just, it just verified to me how I felt when I was told about Universal Woman, that it is really, truly more than a pageant. Truly advocates inclusivity, and of course it's really about making the world a better place in the most genuine way, not just in words, but in actions as well. I'd also like to thank my Bench family who supported me, my family from Bantayan Island and my family from Argao. I actually just came from Cebu <laughs> this morning from another Mega World property. <laughs> in Mactan, Newtown. Because Philippines, I, this, I waited for this moment for so long and just when I thought that the opportunity had passed me, this kind of just arrived. And, and I thought, who am I to refuse a blessing? I finally have a chance to represent my beloved Philippines. That each part and parcel, every single island has become a part of me. I'm. I've learned so much and I appreciate so much of our country having been a product of a heritage that is half influenced by our Spanish, our Spanish ancestors and of course half influenced by natives, Filipino natives. <laughs> My father who is in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, comes actually from a long line of fishermen who has taught me so much about nature. The waters and the islands, the waters that divide us are also the waters that connect us. And I hope to talk more about that in my journey as a universal woman. Because I've been working very hard with several organizations so that we can truly put the Philippines' best foot forward. So everyone, thank you so much for coming here today, our media friends. I'm so, so grateful to be here, and I cannot wait to represent the Philippines. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you so much, Maria. Let's give her a hand. You know, we truly believe that you have what it takes to win the crown and we can see you very much how ready and beautiful you are. And I'm sure at this point, also our 
friends from our media are waiting <laughs> to ask some questions. So go ahead, take some moments first for your photos, and we will be opening the Q&A segment. I just want to say I'm also very happy for her because it's been a long waited opportunity to really be representing the Philippines. I, I was speaking to her also in her room, you know, and just getting a little emotional because, yeah, I mean, like what you said, you thought this opportunity has passed, but look where you are, and I'm just very, very happy for you. So I'm excited, we're all excited to see how your journey will unfold. So congratulations. All right, at this point, so you just please introduce yourself and the organization that you represent. Thank you, Sir Oliver. Uh, hello. Yeah. Good evening, Sir. Um, I'm Melka Paras from Pageant Prodigal. My question is for Mr. Alexander. Sir, I just want to ask, what makes Universal Woman unique from other pageants in the world? I will translate for Alexander. What makes Universal Woman different? Yes. What makes Universal Woman different? Everybody that's part of the organization in Universal Woman. Everybody has their own ideas. Pero conectamos con el corazón y la mente para dar lo mejor de nosotros. No buscamos ser el mejor. But we connect with our hearts and our minds to give our best, not to be the best, but give our best. Precisamente ahora mismo queremos llevar un mensaje. Precisely right now we want to share a message. Yo no tengo problema de nombrar a ningún certamen porque gracias a todos los certamen que he trabajado. I have no issue of naming any other pageants because thanks to those pageants that I've worked with in the past. Como asesor de imagen, as image consultant, soy Alexander Gonzalez en el mundo. I am Alexander Gonzalez in the world. Y la idea es esa, no tener miedo de nombrarnos, sino de aplaudir los logros de cada persona. And the idea is that to not be afraid to name them or other pageants but to applaud what they can achieve and what they do. Cuando las compañías entendamos when companies understand que tenemos que prestar un servicio that we have to offer a service de amor y de unión, that comes from love and unity es cuando realmente vamos a hacer un mundo mejor. is when we truly will be able to build a better world. Universal Woman está feliz de crecer día a día Viendo tantos maravillosos concursos como Miss Universo, Miss Mundo, Miss International, Miss Grand. Universal Miss... Woman is extremely happy to continue growing, seeing also the success of other pageants like Miss World, Miss Universe, Miss Grand, Miss International, Miss Earth, like many others. Esa es la idea. That's the idea. Somos una familia. We're a family. Jay Pantawa from Malaya Business Insight. Um, I'd like to ask first Alexander and Valentina. Um, Valentina is the first winner, so please tell us more about uh, the pageant, uh, its very young history, and the, the, vis the mission and the vision, uh, the purpose why you put up this pageant. Casualmente, hace cuatro años, más de cinco años, a little over five years ago, se creó el certamen. We created the pageant, Universal pero, Woman. Pero vino la pandemia. But the pandemic happened. Todas las cosas que algunas personas ven mal, nosotros lo tomamos como positivo. 
all of the things that we could have taken as something negative, we tried to take them as something positive that was happening. Estos cuatro años nos hizo entender qué These queremos. Past four years made us understand what we truly wanted to get out of Universal Woman. Queremos mujeres como Valentina, como María, como la que está aquí sentada, mujeres reales. We want women like Valentina, like María, like all the women sitting here tonight, real women. Eso es lo que estamos buscando con Universal Woman. That's what we're looking for with Universal Woman. Mujeres bellas de adentro y que transmitan hacia afuera todo lo bello que puedan transmitir. Women who are beautiful on the inside and share that beauty with the world. Thank you. Speaking of sharing, can you tell us about your philanthropic endeavors? Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to talk about my personal one and then we'll talk about what we're focusing on this year with Universal Woman. I've been doing pageants since I was 15 years old, so it's been a while. And um, since that first pageant that I decided to do, I realized that this was truly a trampoline that could allow me to share important messages with the world, uh, social causes that were important to me. And when I was 16 years old, just a few months after I decided to join pageants, I lost my grandmother and my mom to suicide after battling bipolar disorder. And obviously at that age, uh, you're very young, you just lost your mom, and I kind of found refugee in pageantry, um, a way to distract myself. And after a couple of months, I realized that I could turn that into something more. Because the more I talked about what had happened to my mom and my grandmother, the more people I realized were dealing with certain similar situations. I think we really haven't taken mental health and suicide as seriously as we should. Um, I think the pandemic, in a way, was something, or something good that we took out of it, was the fact that now we feel more comfortable talking about mental health and being vulnerable and our struggles, which is the same part of human nature. So since that year, that was 2012, I decided to use pageantry as a platform to share my message to share the story of my mom and my grandmother in a way to honor them, but also to help uh, the millions of people who are struggling with mental health, with anxiety, with depression, suicidal thoughts. And throughout all of my years doing pageants, uh, that's what I've tried to, to do, the message that I've tried to share. And like I said, after thinking that I had closed that chapter with my last pageant, this opportunity presented itself and I found that it was the perfect platform that I had been looking for to continue sharing that message. This year, Universal Woman is partnering with Mission, which is a nonprofit organization based in Italy. And we are gonna be working with doctors who are in various different parts of Italy and work with kids who live under very difficult conditions that require their moms to take care of them and being take care, caretakers 24 seven. So that is the social program that we want to implement and share with our candidates for this year. And of course, once we have our second winner, we will do our best to celebrate whatever platform or whatever social cause she chooses and to develop throughout her reign. Thank you very much. And uh, one question for Maria. Yes. Um, the last time. Feel unattainable because, at least when I was little, I think many of us had role models who seemed like they would, they were out of the world, out of this world, and impossible to to achieve or on a level that was impossible to get to. And I think for a while, pageantry or beauty queens were like that. It was just beautiful women who were so perfect that didn't even seem real. And I think that in the past five years, pageantry has truly changed and it has become something that inspires, but also makes little girls realize what they're capable of. 
And so if there's any message that I wish little girls and teenagers can take away um, from my year and the reign of the next Universal Woman is that all of these women that they admire, that can be them in the future as long as they work hard and I think make education a priority. Uh, many girls think that if they want to get into modeling, they need to put education on the side and focus 100% on that and there's nothing further from the truth. I think that education is key to independence, to truly understanding what you're capable of, and also understanding that you can get there by working hard and surrounding yourself with the right people. So um, I do hope that's a message that little girls get. Thank you, and I'd just like to take this opportunity that hearing your stories, like 30 minutes ago, you inspired me with regards to your backstory. Thank you. And last question for our representative, Maria Gigante. Gigantic since 2016 here. <laughs> so finally, you represent yes! our country. Um, I know that parang ang haba ng process na to, but you deserve this recognition right now, Maria. Thank you. My question to you right now is, what is your mindset right now? I honestly, it's a mix. I would like to say that um, the, there's a saying that goes that everything happens in God's perfect timing. And I believe that that's true. Um, as I was talking with Valentina earlier, we were saying how in our early 20s we felt like we were already adults, right? But oftentimes we manifest too hard and we state who we are and we say it again and again and we force the universe to believe when in fact we should be asking, am I ready? Is this the path I should be on? Because the universe gives us signs. We can read it. That is the mindset that I'm in. I'm just in a state of openness and acceptance, open to learn, open to make mistakes, and most importantly, open to breaking the barriers that have existed and come before us. I think that's what a universal woman is all about, and I believe that that's what I now have this moment for. So I hope that I have your trust and your support, Philippines, and of course, of all the gigantics, so that you can lend me your voices and we can speak as loud as we possibly can. We are here. We have a message to say and we are not looking back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and congratulations for you. <laughs> Hello, good evening to everyone. This is Jay from Badger Trend. I just uh, would like to ask first, um, the National Director of Universal Women Philippines, Sir Arnold Bigafrey. Um, sir, what uh, is the main reason why uh, you you accept or uh, you you accept the franchise of uh, this uh, competition or pension? Um, number one, uh, I know the people behind it. Uh, they're good friends, and they're, those are people that are, are respectable in the pageant industry, like. The, like Antonia and Alex, uh, I know that they've been in the business in the budget industry for so long. And number two, uh, I like the the, the motto of, of universal uh, uh, universal woman, which is the, the defining the the defining the beauty and the uh, diversity and inner strength. So these are the things that we are looking for. I'm looking for a, someone who can speak. Uh, I know that we have Filipino beauty, beauty queens, like Filipino beauty queens are known for not only for beauty, not only for beauty and glam, but they're also beauty and brain. So that's what they're looking for. Someone who has the perfect epitome of a beauty, brain, and who can represent, who can speak in behalf of their organization. And I'm sure that I'm positive that I have, a, a, there's, there's a, there's a Filipina who will get the crown. And then that's why when they offered it to me, I thought several times, right? Um, what crowns that I would go into, you know, to, I don't want to say the drop, to, to you know, to put aside and then change. And re did that renew. I did that renew some, 
but I want to get the best in another new organization that I think will be the future and will become the best organization. And I know that I have candidates that I can, you know, that we can represent the Philippines, which I definitely, from the very beginning, when she joined Miss World Philippines 2022, she is one of my favorite already. But now she can represent her country very well, and I'm sure that she will bring home, you know, the first Miss Universe, Miss Universal woman. So that's why I've been looking for what time I can give to her. So this is now the right time that I have a new pageant that can that Maria can be represent for the Philippines. Right, thank you so much. Another follow-up question, sir. Um, now that you have successfully acquired this uh, um, pageant, will we be expecting um, um, a staging on the next year, or is it included on the, your uh, ELV pageant? Yeah, there will be a uh, Miss uh, Universal uh, Woman will be included on June back to back with Miss World Philippines together with uh, Universal Women. And then in July, we have the Miss Grant with Reina Spano Americana and Miss Teresa Philippines. All right, thank you so much. And uh, my next question is, of course, our reigning uh, Miss Universal Woman, uh, Valentina Sanchez. Hello, dear. Welcome Hi. to the Philippines and Mabuhay. Thank you. It's nice to see you and you look so gorgeous tonight. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Valentina, uh, memorable um, journey here at the Miss Universal Woman. Oh, actually, just a few hours ago, Maria asked me which had been my favorite place out of all the countries and cities that I've visited this year. And I really could not just pick one because I feel that we have taken something special from each one of those places but i think the most special thing that i take away from this past 13 months is definitely the people that i've met i have had the chance to travel the world and i've always felt that we're all citizens of the world and this year truly showed me that it is and you know i feel that when you have an opportunity like the one that i had to get to see different realities that people from all over the world live, um, the way they think, the traditions that they have, what they believe in. You open your mind and begin to understand really how beautiful the world is and how beautiful diversity truly is and what it brings to the table. So I think, of course, we visited so many beautiful places and we've been to incredible events uh, but i think the people that we've met in all of those little parts of the world is what really made my year so special thank you so much and my next question is to senorito alexander gonzalez i have only uh, one question for you sir okay you find <laughs> Todos somos bellos. We're all beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Why no? Why no? All right, my question for you, uh, Senorita Alexander. Uh, what comes first in your mind when you heard about Philippines? You, you. En mi familia. In my family. Por, sí, porque es que tengo tantos buenos amigos filipinos. Because I have so many really good friends from here from cada, the Philippines. Cada vez que yo veo a Arnold es un abrazo de, de hermandad y hermanos. Every time I see Arnold, we hug each other like we're family. Yo recuerdo, yo recuerdo que desde pequeño. Eh, Since I was very young. Que seguía los concursos de belleza. When I start following beauty pageants. Mi padre que es español. My dad, who's Spanish. Él siempre me decía, pon atención en la mujer filipina, la candidata filipina. He would always say, pay attention to the woman from the Philippines. Porque son muy bellas. Because they're so beautiful. Oh. Y, y yo, yo crecí con eso y he so, tenido la suerte. I grew up thinking that way and I've been lucky enough. De no solamente ver la belleza física. To not only see in person that physical beauty. 
sino esa belleza integral que tienen todos ustedes. But also the inner beauty that all the people from the Philippines have. Afortunadamente nos parecemos los venezolanos, yo soy eh, español venezolano. Fortunately enough, um, I believe that we are very similar to each other. He's Venezuelan and Spanish, and he believes that we're very similar in our culture. Y puedo sentir eso. Tengo, tengo no amigos, lo vuelvo a repetir, tengo hermanos filipinos. And so I can definitely feel that. I have, again, like I said, very good friends that I consider brothers. Friends. Gracias por tu pregunta. Thanks for your question. Gracias. And of course, my last question is our very own Miss Universal Women Philippines, Maria Gigante. Hello, dear. Hello. It's Hi. nice to see you. Good to see you. All right. Maria, yes. could you tell us about the story? Uh, why did you accept uh, the appointment of Miss Universal Women Philippines? Oh, I would love to. I've been dying for one of you to ask me this question. But um, so I was actually. My, my project this year, I was, I, wanted, I was very excited to see Sir Arnold's new vision for Miss World Philippines. And we were actually on a very interesting flight yeah. together when he brought it up. And Iloilo. yes, Iloilo, Iloilo, the first leg of Miss World Western Visayas. And it was, what, 5 a.m. in the morning? 5 a.m. in the morning. Before I had left for Christmas, I asked him a question. I said, no, I'll focus on hosting. And then I returned and I congratulated him. Sir, congrats, congrats on acquiring a new franchise. I think everybody's so curious. And he said, you should go. <laughs> I said, but sir, I have moved on. I'm, I'm not for pageants anymore. I'm not ready. I don't think um, it's in my heart to compete in any franchise that exists currently in the Philippines, right? This is... What I pray, of course I pray. Every time when I pray, I always, I always think to myself, like I might not have achieved my dreams and pageants, but I hope that someday an opportunity will come along for me to be able to kind of stretch out my limbs and really show what I'm made of and how much I can help the Filipinos because I've learned so much in my job, in my career. And, and when Sir Arnold told me about Universal Woman, the first thing I did was search it on Instagram. <laughs> And I got to know Valentina and the pageant. I got to read all about it and see all of the intro videos of the candidates. And I thought to myself, wow, these women are amazing and I would be honored to even stand among them. We have, we have ladies who have competed in Universal Women who are not only working as models but have addressed the, the hunger in their villages by teaching their villages how to farm food directly. And immediately I thought about my community in Bantayan Island that I have with Gawad Kalinga for the past, I believe, 10 years now, nine. Um, this community, I, I've been a volunteer since I was a teenager and it has been so hard to teach people about sustainability and to embrace it, what the habit, the ethic of sustainability is really all about. And lo and behold, after the pandemic, when I had joined Miss World, I contacted one of my point persons in the community and I asked them, hey, um, What's happening? Like, are you guys still using all of our equipment? Are you still teaching lessons? We teach up for Alexander and Valentina, who I just met today. I have a skills-based caravan that I started with my organization that I volunteer with, Gawad Kalina, where we teach women and children sometimes, if they like, basic skills for extra income. So we have um, pattern making, um, lace making, we also have haircuts. However, unfortunately, the mentor has passed away Rest in peace, Sir Babes Garso, a very great tailor. But I think this was my effort in making my craft something that could help my community. And I thought immediately, this is the platform on which I want to tell their story. These women are amazing. After the pandemic, they came up with a program that gives incentives to the youth for whoever can get their household to convert into using sustainable materials. So today this workshop currently fashions burlap and fabric sacks, what is used in the restaurants of Bantayan, which is an area that is like highly touristic because we are a wilderness protected area. We have beaches, we have natural resources. And so they come and that really did so much for our tourism industry. But now we have another problem, right? Our solid waste disposal. And so this workshop is a problem to address how to reuse and upcycle those fabrics. And I think that 
universal woman. Sorry, I'm talking on and on and on. But this is what you happen. What happens when you ask me about my advocacy, guys? You know the drill. <laughs> But really, this is an excellent platform to tell their stories and bring into Universal Women the work that I've done with Impact Circle. Impact Circle is actually a private Japanese organization that I encountered after the wrath of Odette in my hometown in Cebu City. Um, I, I, I'm sure you probably have heard of this typhoon and its uh, international name, but what it did basically was all of our fishermen lost their boats, completely gone. And our livelihood, a huge percentage of the Philippines, thrives off of the ocean. What Impact Circle did is that it reached out to communities, particularly in the island of Olongapo, in coordination with Mayor Ahong Chan. And we, uh, they subsidized the rebuilding of 150 fishing boats, which they then distributed to the communities. Uh, and by community, I mean everyone who was qualified and registered in the Bureau of Fisheries. I think that is a project that is accessible, sustainable, doable and concrete. And it ticks all the boxes for me. Something that truly deserves um, exposure. So I think that together with Impact Circle and Gawa Kalinga, they're amazing. It's just amazing. I, why I'm telling you the story is because learning the stories of these women is what gave me the idea, maybe it's time to come back. Maybe this is the time that I am ready. Because now I fully understand that it is not about me. It is about the communities that, that I come from, the communities I represent, and the values that I want to see in the world that we are building in the future. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much and congratulations in advance, dear. Thank you. A short story will be on my Instagram. Thanks. Uh, good evening. I would like to ask Maria. You mentioned a while ago about empowering a woman. As a universal woman, beauty queen, how can you empower other people and be a voice to the voices? Thank you. Uh, I, I believe that empowering other women lies in encouraging them to be genuinely themselves. I was asked by Rihanna earlier, actually, in my room, what makes a universal woman? And it pushed me to think. I believe a universal woman is somebody who acknowledges diversity, that there is power in that diversity. Someone who promotes the respect for our differences and who is able to harness that power into allowing us to work as a unit, as aggregates to a whole, and push our community forward. That, I believe, is how I can be the voice to the voiceless. As you know, I wear many hats. I have my toe in many communities, in, in creatives, and, and community development. And I believe that these experiences have, have equipped me with the knowledge, not just in theory, but in practice, of how I can truly communicate the struggles of our community and find proactive, proactive solutions in solving them. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi, Sir Alex. Hi, Valentina. Nice to see you again. Yeah, um, no, this is just a light question. Um, you know, we, uh, it's fashion season here in the Philippines right now. There's so many pageants that we are, we have, there's, uh, our national pageants are starting to gear up for their respective editions this year. Um, we're so, yeah, we're very focused on it right now. So, uh, my question is, you know, the pageant will be happening next month. Why do you think Filipino pageant fans and us, pageant media, should pay attention and follow the upcoming Miss Universal edition in Cambodia. What surprises? What are what are you guys? What do you guys have in store for us? Bueno, ya afortunadamente, tú has tenido la oportunidad de estar cerca de nosotros. Fortunately, you've had the chance to be very close to us while working in Cambodia. Te invitamos a la press conferencia de Cambodia, ¿verdad? Yeah, you had the opportunity to be there for the press conference. Compartiste con nosotros. You shared with all of us, with all of the team members. Y viste, pudiste contact, con, eh, pudiste ver de primera mano quiénes somos. And you could see firsthand who we are. Somos personas como tú, como, como cualquiera de los que están aquí sentados, soñadores. We're people like you, like everybody sitting here. We're dreamers. 
Yo amo los concursos de belleza. I love beauty pageants. Y eso es lo que yo quiero mostrarle a la gente, la pasión que cada quien tiene por hacer su trabajo. And that's what I want to show the world and all of you, misólogos, fans in the Philippines and all over the world, to share that passion. Yo comencé como un misólogo viendo concursos de belleza. Yeah, that's how I started. Uh, he was a misólogo when he was a little younger than who he is now. Como asesor de imagen. As image consultant. Ahora trabajo, he trabajado con diferentes políticos a nivel internacional. Now I've worked with politicians from all over the world. Con poderosas mujeres. With very powerful women. Y con reinas que han ganado mis universo, como Amelia Vega. Finally, queens who have won who have won this universe, like Amelia Vega. Y recientemente tuve tres finalistas de mis universo. And recently, I had three first runner-ups at Miss Universe. <laughs> Pero no es no es no lo digo así como para ah, Alexander qué grande. No lo digo es para que vea que queremos darle lo mejor a las personas que que vengan al concurso a disfrutar el concurso. And I say that just so you guys can understand that that's what we want to offer all of you. We want to give you the best. Eso es lo que queremos. Gracias. Can I make a follow-up question? What are the chances that Amelia Vega and those three runners-up you said you mentioned earlier would would grace? What are the chances that they would what? Attend or oh, casualmente Julia Gama. Eh, Actually, Julia Gama will be there. Miss Brasil que preparé para mis mundo. She was Miss Brazil that he prepared for Miss World. Y luego trabajé con ella para mis universo. And then worked with her to go to Miss Universe, and she was first runner. Hoy en día es una celebridad tanto en China como en, en Telemundo. Nowadays she's a celebrity in China but also for Telemundo. Está está trabajando con nosotros este año y va a estar va a estar allá. She's working with the Universal Woman Organization this year and she will be there in Cambodia. Great. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see what you have in store for us. Gracias. Hello. Hi.